Bobby, you ready to go? I'm ready. Coke and donuts. <sighs> Breakfast of champions. Hopefully I don't repeat them times on the way over there. You letting me go first? No, I don't know what I'm doing. Just walk, I'm just filming you. <laughs> there goes the video. This video is not about you today, Davis. Loser. <laughs> I knew that power step was good for something. So uh, today's a pretty big day. Me and Bobby are actually on our way to Town & Country Ford to see Mitchell and Josh, the guys who are the masterminds behind Town & Country TV, to shoot a little collaboration video and let you guys get an inside look at what our best dealers do that make them so successful. But uh, right now we're stuck in traffic. So, fingers crossed that we make it there on time. I think we might be late. That's what happens when people have wrecks. God bless them. You sure it ain't them donuts and pop tarts and Coca Cola? <laughs> that might have something to do with it. <laughs> Finally getting on the interstate. No go. <laughs> what you eating there, Bobby? <laughs> it's awesome. What are you? Five? Oh, about forty. <laughs> Keeps me young. If I... That bulletproof coffee's got me fired up. Gun it, Bobby. Oh, come on. Okay, sorry. <laughs> what is this guy doing? We're here to do a few little videos this morning, so this is really, he is our marketing guy. What's happening? What's up? We're actually just here to mooch off Mitchell because exactly. he's a YouTube celebrity. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't realize they were having a sales meeting. I walked in there and almost got my butt chewed out, and that was exciting. <laughs> uh oh. What's going on? <laughs> I don't know if I have a card or not. I do have a card. Thanks, buddy. <laughs> Teamwork. What was your name? Eric Washington. Eric, I'm Drew. Country forward, Good to meet you, buddy. Hey. Hey man, are you ready to quit messing around and go do this thing? Let's do it. <laughs> I don't know if y'all recognize this guy, but this is uh, Mitchell Watts from Town and Country TV, and uh, he's a way bigger YouTube celebrity than I am. So never heard of him. I'm uh, I'm just here to glean from his wealth of knowledge, uh, and I don't know uh, about that. yeah, I don't know. I'm gonna quit talking. Let's just go. Let's, right, just let's do go. it. Let's oh yeah, it. look at that. Look at those couple of studs right Woo. there. Get out of the video, Bobby. Out. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Obviously, because you guys have achieved a great level of success, not just from a Ford franchise perspective, but also in selling the SCA trucks, what does it mean to you to be passion driven? I think the main thing is, is just 
truly loving what you do. And that and that's one of the things that we try and focus in on is that at the end of the day, if you truly love what you do and put that out in front of other people, then they will see that genuine response. I mean, nobody wants to do business with somebody who's just there for a paycheck. And I, I mean, from the time I was four years old, I always wanted to be around cars, whether it was either drawing them, just working on them, or now selling them, it just ends up working out pretty well. Now along that same, were you making funny faces in the camera? <laughs> a little bit. Along that same line, what do you value most in working with us as a custom truck provider to you guys? What separates SCA Performance from everybody else? Oh, that's a good question, because there's a lot of options out there. <laughs> and I'll tell you, there's a couple different things. The, the main thing is the quality that we've seen over the years. I mean, we've done business with you guys since like 99, when we opened. The way you guys back the customer, whether they come back to our dealership or not, it's insane. And, and you just can't put a price on that, because yes, can you buy a lifted truck for cheaper? Maybe. But at the end of the day, you get what you pay for. And I'm a firm believer. So it's not just about the product, but it's about the relationship and the service provided to the customer at the end of the yes. day. And that, that goofy dude right there, Bobby Coleman. Smile, Bobby. <laughs> dude, he, he's been there for our customers when we're not able to. He did whatever it, it took to take care of the customer. If you do that enough, business will happen. You won't have to worry about money. You'll sell enough cars. That's absolutely right. Don't, don't take my word for it. This guy, one of the best Ford dealers that we do business with, he knows what it's all about, and he's... Are, are you hitting on me? Huh? No, no, bro. <laughs> hey, you know what I did just realize, though? Like, I'm really short. Like, I feel like I'm looking up to you like a small child. <laughs> <laughs> you want to go check out some trucks? Do it. All right. Glad to see you finally Ooh. showed up. Finally. That's definitely going in the vlog. <laughs> <laughs> those of you don't know, that this is the guy that manhandles our entire YouTube channel. He's the one that makes all those video behind edits. The scenes. He is behind the scenes like you've never seen. And a lot of times recently, he's been in front of the camera too. Yep. So, does a great so job. you do all the work and Mitchell just does all the talking. He makes me look good. Pretty much. Yeah. There, you, that's that's got to be hard. Yeah, I know. That <laughs> takes a lot. <laughs> all right, how do we get out of here? How long have you been on YouTube? Since 2008. So a lot of lot nine of nine years. Yeah. How many videos? Do you know? Uh, over two thousand. Uh, that's impressive. I'm up to like <laughs> sixty. <laughs> so first off, tell me what your favorite feature is about the F two fifty version of the SCA Performance for Black Widow. Uh, my favorite feature is it makes me feel more important than I really am. Uh, <laughs> I'm serious, man. When, when you drive this truck, because it's got 37 inch tires on it, and the fact that you can get a truck that's got 37 inch tires, it's got a full factory warranty, uh, and you just you have people. Like, you can drive a normal F 250, and people look at you like, hey, man, that's a fantastic, it's aluminum truck. When you drive this, you, you literally pull up on the interstate, and you're looking eye level with 18 wheelers. That's pretty cool. It's, it's pretty awesome for me, too, because as we mentioned earlier, I'm a little short, so my <laughs> my favorite feature is actually the uh, amp power steps. Do you have it unlocked where we can pull uh, those I don't out? I think it's unlocked. Uh, no. Unprepared. Uh, no. No, I'm what a loser. No. And what I like about them is they actually tuck away, so that way when you're not using it, it makes the truck look higher up. But if you are vertically challenged, not saying that you are, but maybe. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's it's possible. It, it actually drops down a lot lower than like a normal uh, step bar. So yeah, yeah, it really it really does. I mean, I don't have to run to get into these. I have to run to get into the other ones. Pull Vaulton <laughs> to get into it. Can they build with an F three fifty? So uh, Bobby, uh, our rep, he's actually shaking his head yes. So that's pretty cool that we get to the F three fifty. He's really good at just like talking on the fly. I'm really good at BSing apparently. <laughs> I, I think that's what he was trying to tell me. No, no, man. No. I mean, it all sounds real legit. <laughs> it is legit. <laughs> it really is. And it's crash test rated, I think. Isn't that what you told me, Bobby? Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Every, everything on the vehicle uh, from a suspension standpoint, wheel and tire drivability, it's all FMVSS certified. Yep. So you have nothing to worry about from a safety perspective. And as you mentioned earlier, there's a three year, 36,000 mile warranty for everything that we do. So 
I mean, you're getting a custom truck with all of the same perks that you get from just buying one factory right off the lot. That's what I love about Southern Comfort is they're, they're small enough to be able to, to know what it takes to take care of the customer, but they're also big enough to do all the research and development to make their own wheels and they do their own custom front bumpers, which I'm really excited about. I want one. Yeah, yeah, one yeah, yeah. me too. Super Duty. Yeah. Uh, because we, we've got an F-150 with that new front bumper on it, but I can't wait to see what the Super Duty looks like with it as well. I, I've seen a couple of those videos you posted out about doing the cardboard mock -up. Yeah, yeah, cool. yeah. It's a, it's a very interesting process. Well, I was going to go check out an Apex. Okay. But since you've got an F-150 Black Widow with the bumper on it, okay. why don't we go check it out? Let's go do it. I should have did this at the uh, Super Duty. I'm not short. I'm six foot three, six foot four with my heels on. Uh, yeah, they're not heels, but look at those kicks. Yeah, I've... <laughs> <laughs> you can tell they're a little worn. I need to. Hey, you you're you're working there. hard. All right, hard American dream. That's right. Roll Tide. This one was actually custom built for us. So this one is the uh, the black exterior. But one thing you'll love about it is it actually has matte black. Uh, fender flare and so it, it kind of gives you a perfect amount of contrast I mean we even paid extra to have these bolts sanded and painted to, to match the rest of the fender flare the wheels are custom solid black instead of the black with the milled inserts uh, it's just really really cool and then you also have the the Gibson exhaust that is also black as well there. your shadow is killing the quality of the video <laughs> uh, let me see if I can uh, unlock the truck I'm, I'll be right back yeah I'd love to take a look at the interiors on these black widows Mitchell apparently I don't have the passcode for this one either but I can tell you one thing uh, that you've got the matte black that we have here this same matte black uh, is custom painted on the inside. So they actually take all of the interior trim components out and they can sand them down and they paint them any color you want. We actually painted the interior components to match the contrast of the matte black, which I think actually looks pretty good when you compare that to the front bumper that once again is also an SEA uh, exclusive. And that, I believe, is powder coated. Is that right? Uh, it is. It is a uh, 3 16 gauge cold rolled zinc plated steel. Uh, that they then prime and then it's double powder coated obviously because the finish has to withstand the warranty right Can you say that three times fast i had to say it like a hundred times like before i actually got it down to say it in a video <laughs> i have no idea what you said but it looks amazing oh and i'm so sorry to interrupt you guys but one thing i love about these light bars yeah you can find a cheap light bar but what's going to happen is you're going to have warranty issues down the road and one of the things i like about southern cover is they don't cheat or take corners as far as costs go to make more profit for them, they actually step up and pay for the more expensive rigid LED light bar. I've never had any issues with a rigid LED light bar. I honestly don't know if we've ever had a claim. Ever. Really. What's your favorite feature? Is it the lights or is there a design component that you like the best about the bumper or? Drivability, I love that light bar because you could be driving in the middle of the night, you turn it on and it get it driving at home it looks like a completely different road than i drive every single day that's not dot approved i don't know what you're Mitchell. talking about i heard of a guy doing that <laughs> <laughs> i only do it when there's no one else on the road i promise i'm big loud and obnoxious and i like a truck to match hey i'm mm -hmm. short loud and obnoxious <laughs> and i i like a truck to match too <laughs> this has been a ton of fun and yeah, I, I appreciate you letting me come out here and do this. Man, a pleasure. I'm sorry we kind of missed there. Kind of like that's okay. I'm I'm minute. looking at your hand through the uh, <laughs> through the camera. So man, glad to have you guys. <laughs> Anytime you guys uh, want anything, man, you guys are like family to us, and especially Bobby. He's a fantastic guy. We jack with him a lot of times, but I mean, he is one of the reasons that uh, you crying. <laughs> Why yeah. <are> you crying? <laughs> Why you so, crying, man? Up. <laughs> This is, the lighting is terrible here. <laughs> Bobby, get in there. This is very weird for you, YouTube Live. I you apologize. You need to stand up. You're too short anyway. I'm trying to, there we go. There we go. Yeah, staggered. That's perfect. Does this not look funny? Okay, that's good. Oh, leg day, guys. I'd say it was a success. Yeah. We'll do it again. We've been looking for this place to eat for like 10 minutes and Bobby can't remember where it is. What's this place called? Bootangs. Bootangs. That's gumbo. Around. The ultimate gumbo? Yeah. Where's that at? This is my kind of eating right here. I guess it was pretty good. Terrible. <laughs>
Oh my god. We'll be back when y'all have to we kill this. Thanks for lunch, Bobby. I think that was officially the best Cajun food I have ever had. Gumbo was Man, that gumbo dude. fantastic. Ultimate gumbo at uh, Botang's Bessemer. Hole in the wall. Awesome.